Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise and myself, Jason, today bring you whiskey review into the Talisker 18 year old. So in the, this whole series so far, we've been in the Talisker range. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also be sure to click over here where I'll leave link the Talisker playlist. So if you are looking for a specific bottling of Talisker, I should have covered it by now or I'm on the way to covering it. So. We're going to be doing the Talisker 18, we're joined by Mr. Bananas, my trusted psychic whiskey mascot, and this is leaking all over the place. Um, but yeah, we're going to pour ourselves a little bit of the Talisker 18 and get started with this review. So, how many, I want to ask, actually, I want to start with a question, and this is actually leaking all over the place. I want to start with a question today, and that is, what is your favorite Talisker expression? So, leave it down below in the comment section, I want to see what you guys, is your favorite one. And at this point in time, I've got also the 25, the 30, the Nice Point, which I'm going to move across. And I think I've got a couple more. And the 57 North, which is one of my personal go-to whiskeys. So we're going to do the Talisk 18 today. And we've got a few more videos lined up. So to start off on my review way, I start off with the age of this whiskey. It is an 18-year-old expression. The actual ABV is bottled at 45.8%. Uh, in terms of the car selection, I believe it's the same as a 10-year-old, but just aged further, as there are nowhere online states it's sherry casks. Now, in terms of the actual distillery, it's the Talisca Distillery, which is a very beautiful and picturesque place, and I can't wait to visit them, hopefully, in three months' time, because my friend's coming down, and then we're going to go back to Scotland and visit as many distilleries as we can, which I'm looking forward to, and I'll take you along with me, maybe do some YouTube Live for the first time. Give it a go. Now, they are owned by Diageo. And they are located in the Isle of Skye in Scotland. So Isle of Skye is known as the Islands of Scotland in terms of the locations of where whiskies are produced, the regions, whiskey producing regions. Now the actual price point on that bottle over there, it does vary in the British market at the minute. It's between 70 and 80 pounds, but I found most places at 75 to 77 pounds here in the United Kingdom. And then imagine that in dollars, pounds, so dollars around about 90, 85 to 90 dollars, euros around about the same. So around about, I'd say 80 euros. So that's the price point for that. In terms of the actual overall exclusivity, it's not exclusive, it is a core expression. And in terms of caramel coloring, well, it's very difficult to say because this is still a very light whiskey, but we might just have to say that it does have it because a lot of the other Taliskas do contain caramel color but I can only imagine it being a drop of something because it's so light it's like a golden color so let's begin by assessing the nose into the nose so to begin on the nose to the Talisker 18 this one has got such a very well rounded character my goodness this is incredible it starts off quite like a honey black pepper it's quite it's a little bit sweet but then it's followed up by that little bit of spice and it's so gentle a little note behind that of maybe I'd say caramel or toffee. And then following behind that one, you've got a very nice sort of spiced orange, adding a little bit more zinginess into the mix. It does have that maritime sea salt, sea spray character, but this is much more gentle. It's actually like if you've taken a boat and you've gone into the ocean and you've just taken like a little, just for a little journey around the actual island it's like that sort of character you're getting a little bit of that sea spray that just hits against the boat and comes up into the air it's followed up with a little bit of a lime and there's such a soft gentle note behind it maybe it's a tropical fruit guava raw guava so that's actually the first time I'm finding a tropical character. No, the second time I'm finding a tropical character in any Talisca. It's like a like a, a raw gra a guava that's not been fully ripe yet. It's so mellow and so well-rounded. And the smoke is almost non-existent in this whiskey. Let's get into the palate straight away. Slanja. So to begin on the palate for the Talisca 18, this one is just... It's so... Good. I don't know if you can hear the birds and the rain outside, but it's pouring it down here in London today. And this whiskey is hitting the spot, hitting the nail on the head. So to start out in terms of flavor profile, you start with a quite a nice citrus combination of citrus peels, lemon, lime, probably a bit more towards lime, lime zest and a bit of lime juice combined together. As these flavors wrap around the palate, 
There is a very soft, gingery warmth. And I'm feeling it in different parts of the palette. So it's just activating this little bit of heat as it's dancing around. And it's followed up now by a little bit of a, a, a tray of different spices, that black pepper, a little bit of chili warmth. It then goes straight into a little bit of aniseed, all spice. And then as those fade, you're now making way for a bit more of a softer, I'm getting like a little green apple character. And a slight drying oak as well, which is quite a bit going on in terms of the spice palette. So let's have a second sip, see what else we can discover. So from the second sip now, I've let that literally just roll all over the palette for around about a minute. So I've cut that out of the video, but as you let it just roll all over the place, I'm picking up those green olives, but these are green garlic olives. So they've got a little bit of garlic inside, which I just think just gives it that extra sort of dimension to the whiskey when you're having green olives. It then follows up by a little bit of a salty character. And this is not like the salty characters I found in these ones. This is like pink Himalayan sea salt, very expensive sea salt and very easy to even, if you take pink Himalayan sea salt and you put it on your taste buds, you will see the difference in the quality of the salt. It's much more easier as well. It's not so stingy and it doesn't make you feel all funny <laughs> straight away when you have a little taste of it. It then goes into a little bit of a smoky character and this is like a wood smoke, but I'd say more towards even a matchstick smoke. Because if you just take a little matchstick, you just completely let it almost fizzle out and you blow it out at the last minute and you can smell that sort of soft smoky aroma. That sort of smoke is there on the end of the palate. Overall texture though, it's around about, I'd say a medium full. It just develops. The more you keep on the pala, the more this one just keeps going around and it's sinking into the taste buds. I can close my eyes and just describe this whiskey because it's that good. It is, it is, it's something. So let's get into the finish. I think I'm giving away as well, but anyway, into the finish. So now into the finish for the Talisker 18 and these flavors that I found on the palate are completely reflected over into the finish. And as you're letting them linger, as you're letting them roll off the palate and then go back and those flavors just keep developing further and further. That pink Himalayan sea salt is just rolling around the palate. A little bit of that soft peppery spice and it's ever so gentle. I'd say it's like a white peppery spice now. It's completely mellowed out. It's eased itself completely. A little faint smoky character is there and it's really rounded off with a bit of citrus as it really just completely rounds this whole whiskey. Maybe even a slight iodine character on the end, but this one is just incredible. So, time to give the rating for the whiskey, and I'm gonna go here. This is a no-brainer for me. This is one of those whiskeys that the first time I tried it, and even now when I retry it, it just sends me into a zone where I'm feeling just so happy that I've actually tasted this whiskey. I've been lucky enough to have a few bottles of this. So, it's gonna get a 92 out of 100, uh, the Talisker 18 is just absolutely superb whiskey and I highly recommend if you haven't tried it, you're a fan of anything from Talisker, give this 18 year old expression a try. In terms of price point, at around about 70 to 80 pounds, I think that's superb value for money, especially for an 18, it's not pushing into the hundreds like some other whiskeys I've just recently done and you're getting those great balance of flavors which just really are so well rounded out that I feel it would be, it'd be, <laughs> A, a crime to actually miss out on. So let me know your thoughts if you have tried the Talisker 18 down in the comment section below. Also let me know what is your favorite Talisker expression. And on that note, I believe we should wrap the video at that. What do you think, Mr. Bananas? I think he does think as well. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, but feel free to drop it a thumbs up. Be sure to like the video and also be sure to click the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Let me know your tasting notes as well, if you have tried the Talisk 18 and what you think of it. I'm gonna leave some other videos on the screen, or well, Talisk videos if you would like to check them out. But on that note, it's been Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video. Slancha.